Violet King Henry, a trailblazing legal mind. Violet Pauline King was born on October 18, 1929, in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Born into a family of black settlers who had moved to Alberta in the early 20th century, King grew up in a society where racial prejudices were prevalent. However, her family, particularly her father John King, was instrumental in instilling in her the value of education and the need to challenge societal norms. Violet King attended Crescent Heights High School in Calgary. From an early age, she displayed an interest in civic activities and held various leadership roles during her school years. After high school, she went on to attend the University of Alberta, where she pursued her passion for law. In 1953, she became the first black person to graduate from the university's faculty of law. Upon her graduation, Violet King made history by becoming the first black woman to be admitted to the Alberta Bar in 1954, marking a significant achievement not only for herself but for the entire black community in Canada. She practiced criminal law in Calgary for a short period. Her career, however, did not remain limited to Canada. Violet moved to the United States, where she continued to break barriers. She worked for the U.S. Department of Labor in the Manpower Administration and later for the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Through these roles, she played an active part in advocating for equal employment opportunities and fighting against workplace discrimination. By the 1970s, she had transitioned into a leadership role at the YWCA, becoming its national executive director. Throughout her tenure, she worked extensively on programs aimed at assisting women in achieving economic self-sufficiency. Violet King Henry's life was marked by her relentless pursuit of justice, equality, and opportunities for marginalized communities. Although she passed away in 1982 at the age of 52, her legacy continues to inspire countless individuals. She remains a testament to the power of resilience and the importance of challenging and changing societal structures. In recognition of her significant contributions, various institutions and organizations in Canada have honored her, ensuring that her pioneering efforts in the field of law and civil rights are not forgotten.